All right, YouTube, we're going to play a little bit of Grix. We're going to play Bug Delver tonight. It's basically like blue black Delver. <laughs> Splashing, just abrupt decay. Tarmogoyf. I, I tried a bunch of like libraries and stuff for like the grindy matchups, but it just felt like it was worse than just being able to stick a threat. It's really hard to. It's really hard to deal with, and like there were a couple times where I comboed this last hope and this true name nemesis, had them together in the same game, and like I just felt like I couldn't lose there. So what'd you play against today, Johnny? Hey, take it easy, Archmage. All right. Oh, I'm playing against Gerard Fabiano again. Played against him yesterday. He's double queuing, which is annoying. Oh, this is so annoying when people do this. You're just like wasting my life. But what are you going to do? Okay, so his hand's good, not great, but I'm going to keep it. I'll probably cantrip on one in order to not get, like, wastelanded out of the game. And he's playing something fair, if I had to assume. Fix this a little bit. Oh, this is so frustrating. This guy's just double queuing, which is going to make it everything slower. But what are you going to do? I watched a lot of Warchester today. I think I want to play this in the challenge tomorrow. There's a lot of, as a couple of these are my friend's cards and he's probably gonna like get out of legacy on moto soon because he doesn't necessarily like it which i get there's a lot of this that's like really frustrating like death right challenge is just really obnoxious like the fact that like the card just does so much even though i've only played like I, I top 64'd a leg my first Legacy tournament that I played in just because, like, I, I've had Deathrite Shaman on one in, like, all of my games. And it felt like that made a huge difference. Come on. All right. Ponder. He's probably playing, like, a Grixis Delver deck, if I had to assume. All right, we didn't hit a land, so I'm, I'm going to ponder as well. I think I'm going to shuffle this. If this wasteland was colored, I would keep it, but... Okay, that's good. So now we'll try to jam through our Tarmog Wife next turn. Pretty so I'm sure. I don't really know what he is. Like... It could be a Grixis Delver, but like they usually don't play Arid Mesa. It could be like a Stone Blade deck. Yeah, I'm gonna assume he's like a blue, white, red Stone Blade deck. Which means hopefully my decay is good. But we're gonna have to get this Tarmac Wife down. Alright, that means we're gonna be able to true name next turn, which is good. I'm going to get Tropical Island. And then jam myself a Goyf. I wonder if he's got like Supreme Verdict in his deck, if his deck goes that big. Supreme Verdict in Legacy seems bold. Like to start that, I don't know. This is like a council's judgment, then I'm going to let it go. Okay, so he's pawned. Wow, he's done. Uh, that's the fourth cantrip. All 
and they did not shuffle. All right, there's a bunch of Delvers. Now I could go like brainstorm double Delver, but I think I'm just gonna get the true name down. And then like hope, just hope. I mean, if he's got main deck verdict, he's got main deck verdict. I'm gonna fight over this. And I think I'm going to pitch my brainstorm. I think we've got enough, like these two threats here are enough to win this game, especially if this resolves. Okay, so he forces back. All right. So let's just hope there's not a Jace. We traded three for three. If he plays Jace, we're just going to play Tarmogoyf and Delver. Snapcaster. Jeez. Man, he is digging for something. He's brainstorming after he fetched. Yeah, that seems loose. Because now he could lock himself. It's not like he can go land Stoneforge Mystic or something like that. That was a good draw. I'm going to play this again. Like, if, if he... Um, if he verdicts me, he verdicts me. Though, what could he have? He just brainstormed to put a card back. Like, how likely is he to be playing? Yeah, I think I'm just going to play this, play a Delver. Like, I don't want to walk into, like, a Terminus. Nope, oh, okay. If he plays like a batter skull here, I can abrupt decay the germ. Stand still. Okay. All right. Well, at least he showed me he's a standstill deck. All right. So against a standstill, we probably want Thoughtseize, Liliana. I'm assuming Flusterstorm and Blue Blast are going to be good. I'm assuming he'll bring in Pyroblasts. That was like a very odd set of events there. So I definitely, I think I want these. Um, I don't think I want my pushes. I probably should keep in like some number of Abrupt Decays, but maybe not all of them. I can probably cut some number of Dazes on the draw. Probably like two Dazes and then like two Force of Wills. So I think you're supposed to board out like a lot of Force of Wills in fair matchups, but I don't think I want to go without all of them because the game's just like naturally going to go long and there's going to be some really important things that I need to counterspell. They're going to be worth two for wanting myself for. I would be willing to bet that he's got something like a Supreme Verdict after sideboard. I'm going to keep these in because he could easily have like Blood Moon back to basics or like Monastery Mentor. So I want, I think I want at least a couple of these. I don't need I don't need like all four of them. Speaking of why I like four, like having four of these is so nice in the Delver mirrors. Like, man, that's great. Like it's just like unconditionally kill your Death Ray Chaman, kill your Delver, kill your Young Pyromancer. Should turn on some uh, some tea water. I'll be on for at least the league tonight. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. We didn't see any Wastelands from him last game. The game win, but he's a standstill deck, so he must have Wastelands. He's probably got like Wasteland and Crucible Worlds. So it'd be, it's silly of me to not play, to not think about, um, to not think about Wasteland. Or not to think about like, yeah, to not think about Wasteland is silly of me. Okay. The good thing about him fetching basic island is that he would need another land in order to kill my death red shaman, and he can't get another land and wasteland me.
So like best case scenario, I don't know. Let's brainstorm happen. I would like to draw a land so that I can him him. And like hold up this pyroblast for blue elemental blast for like a plow. He should do this on my upkeep, I think. He's gonna plow this. I guess if he does it on my upkeep, he lets me fluster storm, so that's not good. Wow, he is gonna do it, okay. Alright, so let's ponder. So I'll fluster storm my ponder. I feel like I should fluster storm this back. Because like, I just don't have a lot going on. So, like, storm happens. He targets this. I think I need this ponder to resolve. Then get a land to be able to like blue blast something next turn. And this is gonna be so annoying. This is like the moto nightmare. Okay, so this one. So this one targets this. This one targets this. And then that targets that. So I think I think we're good. I think we're kosher with this. I don't know if this is loose or not, but I, I feel like it's important for this ponder to resolve. Okay, we don't want any of those. We hit a land. Unfortunately, it's not the land we want. If he lands a blood moon, then we'll deal with it. We'll force a will like a back to basics. Stand still. I think we're okay with this, right? Because we have a death right shaman and he doesn't. Like we're ahead on board. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, but but like we're we're just ahead on board, so I think this is okay. I could have fought over, maybe I should have fought over that. I don't know. I probably should have because, like, this is bad no matter what, you know? Like, he, he's going to land, like, a Mishra's factory. I don't know, this seems very bold. And then, I'm just going to eat this brainstorm. Just because, like, if he tries to flash it back now, then whatever. I'm just going to play my lands out. So we get the old full retail force of will up. So I can put him to eight on board. <clears throat> and then I probably won't play any more lands now. And just have that out to be able to, like, potentially... Um, discard the hand size to keep feeling my shat my my uh, whatever it is my shaman. So I'm gonna keep this in my hand again because I want to give myself the option to discard the hand size. I don't really know what Gerard's plan was here. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. So now we're going to be able to discard a spell every turn. So at least our shaman's going to have enough fuel. Maybe he's going to cycle the decree or whatever. That's his game plan.
All right, looks like he's making a move. Pitching this Delver to the Force of Will if I need to. I might just pitch so that I can also like Blue Blast a Pyroblast. This is how these games are going to go. I don't think I want any dazes. Yep, we're just going to discard another him. Let me discard. I really don't know what he's doing. I don't have any idea like what his game plan was in this game at all. The guy's obviously good, so I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt, but I can even like decay one of his angels. It's like what is the card? Exclamation point card. Decree of justice. Two WW or cycling to discard this card. When you cycle, you may pay X. So two W one two. So you can make one two three four five angels, which still isn't enough to like one shot me. I don't know. Like Bane Slayer Angel. Okay, draw three cards. Let's fight over this while it's on the stack. And if he pyroblasts, I'll blue blast. Alright. Yeah, I don't really know what his game plan is there. He just played a standstill on turn three and do a death right shaman. So I'm going to grab some water. I'll be right back. I don't, I don't know what his plan was here. Let me put my music on. <laughs> Hope everyone's having a decent time tonight. Got a couple people watching. I'm just, I think I'm going to stream this for the challenge tomorrow. So that's why we're jamming a couple games. Keep a wheel to play. Mulligan this hand. Yeah. All right, we'll keep this. I mean, I think we got to put that on top to be able to play our Tarma Wave on two. Lead on this wasteland to send a message. Which I'll run the Tarma Wife right into whatever this is doing. Uh, by you. Flooded Strand makes me think that these wastelands aren't going to do anything. Yeah. This gets plowed. Game's basically over. 
And the reason why I played Wasteland on one because I didn't want my Underground C getting um, getting hit, and then like it makes it so that I have to fetch like Trop in order to turn on my Cantrips, and Trop's really not that great in this deck. Oh. Should have cast. Oh no, I should. I couldn't cast it. Well, against Planes, Planes. If we can get this true name down, it might do something. Getting in there with my squire. Yeah, we're not gonna. He's probably gonna waste this. My upkeep. So you can play around Stifle. Okay, you got it, dude. Sad. Would have been TNN. I'm assuming True Name Nemesis is going to be good here. If I can get it down. It's nice how, like, this card is just busted against, like, half the format. Like, most of the time I lose to a Delver deck, it's to this card, I feel like. Okay, we're not going to crack this. Okay. So now we're just going to jam this true name and hope it's good enough. Then this gets trap. All right. No council's judgment. What am I playing against? Huh. All right. I don't. I don't know. Now we just play this sweet Blood Moon game. More do you have after dark? Get used to this. Yeah, it's been. It's just been how the weeks have been lining up. I wish I had like a death right shaman. Okay, so we're just gonna we're gonna lose this race really bad. Twelve, we go to eleven. There's no way we're gonna win this thing here, just because this occurred. So I'm playing against a like a white red death and taxes deck. I don't think I have any outs to this in my main deck. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're good. I yield. Okay, so I want this. I want my edicts, my casualties, and my fatal push. Might even want this blue blast because it can kill whatever it is. Uh, Megas the Moon. And. I don't think I want any, and then I want this decay. I haven't liked really any of the counter magic. I just have to be cognizant of Megas the Moon. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. That was your day today, Kish. What did you do? Yeah, this hands good. Oh, I should take it out my hymns. Left some counter magic in. Yeah, him is not very good here. That was a mistake on my part. I haven't liked him in any single matchup that plays to the board. My opponent's on the 51 card special, it looks like. Yeah, I should have at least... That was a mistake on my part. Lazy? Everyone likes a lazy day, Kish. All right, well, I'm just going to do this and waste him.
The next turn, I'm gonna hit him again. How often do you work on Saturdays, Kish? Maybe my opponent's out of lands. Nope, they're not. Take this. Make black. Actually, you can't. I'm gonna go get buy you with this. I don't really want to fetch trop. Sort of a decent chant. All right. I'm gonna flip this Delver. Fairly often, I normally get like one. Jeez, that sucks. My opponent says to him. Um, no, I do not want to reveal Tarmogoyf. Well, Pyroblast, Mirror, and Crusader. And this gets me green. Oh, they conceded. Okay. Okay, so I don't want these hymns, actually. Even though they were gas there, I don't want hymns on the draw. Probably can bring in targeted discard against like a Stoneforge Mystic deck and then just keep two forces in just in case. Try to waste them off. Maybe I want these. Maybe these hymns are okay on the draw. We'll try that. So, what do you, do you work during the week, Kish? Do you just rack up the hours or. Yeah, I can keep this. If my opponent plays like a mom on one, I think I'm just going to waste them. This is an ether vial, okay. Alright, well that changes the play. Now let's hope we untap with this shaman. Nice thing about this shaman is that we can react and we can play around like a mom coming at the end of the turn. Dahlia. What a cruel lady she is. Now I need like a fetch land or I can't de abrupt decay. Oh, that sucks. Alright, well I think I have to slow him down. Then just hope a mom doesn't come down here. And hope this Delver flips. Because I couldn't even, because I didn't have a land in the graveyard. Yeah. Well, we can beat this. So I might just decay this vial now. Yeah, I think I'm just going to abrupt decay the vial. Yeah, I'm definitely decaying this vial now. No. If he goes to like block, oh, this is bad because this could be like a Thalia. Take this out of their graveyard. Make black. And just get this off the battlefield. Because then now they're stuck on lands. God, I love a Rutt Decay. And then we can start playing the Lianas. Okay, Wasteland. So you're double colorless. If they waste me, I'll just him them. Or if they like port me, they'll probably port me because they don't want to like use their wastelands. Yeah. 
I'd like to draw a fetch lands to keep my death rate challenge going. No, we won't wait till this. Okay, that's nice because it's going to keep my death rate challenge chugging along. So I think actually, so we're just going to go like this. Remove this. Make black. Oh, they got rid of a jet, which is good. We're kind of putting it to him a little bit. I mean, he's ahead on life points, but the death right shaman will do that for me. Next turn, I can play Liliana, edict it, and then waste him. Consuming whatever he does, if he does unless he does something with port. I just want to keep him off Magus the Moon at this point. Because as long as I don't get Magus the Moon, I think I'm going to be all set. Are you going to flip for me, buddy? Flip for me. Yeah. Okay. So one, two, three, yeah. So let's hit this port. So if he, he, he has to like get rid of his own mana in order to mess with me. Oh, I guess I can't cast the Liliana through that, but it is late. It is late, Farby. You are right about that. All right, that's good. So we'll go put this on the bottom, this, this, no, clock him for three, play another Shaman. The next turn, either play Liliana or play Tarmogoyf. Not quite sure yet, to tell you the truth. Yeah, we should be we should be good now. So let's go exile this, make black, play a shaman. This card's so annoying. Like, it's just ridiculous how good this card is. Absolutely unreal. We're gonna have six mana next turn, so we can actually play Liliana and oh that's kind of annoying. Oh, they conceded. All right, let's jump back into it here. How have you been, Farby? <clears throat> it's only 10.50. You're in your 20s. Hell, I'm married, and I'm still up this late. Like, don't hit me with that it's too late kind of crap. What time is the challenge tomorrow? I should probably make sure I get to that. Legacy challenge, 11 a.m. I wish it started earlier. Uh... Deathrite Shaman, Ponder, and Wasteland. No, Deathrite Ch Death Shaman, Brainstorm, and Wasteland. That's probably why I like this deck. Beer Fest, it's 11.15. Okay, that'll do it. Yeah, I don't blame you there. It does kind of suck when you play in these Legacy queues, how long it takes them to queue. I'm going to go turn on some tea water.
Make me some tea. Bounce from 12 to 4, tickets, beer. Yeah, that sounds like a good day. <laughs> I let the dog out before we started the stream, and he's actually asleep now. Heater. Absolute heater. Hopefully we draw a blue card next turn so that we can just play this Liliana, and then I can just wasteland my opponent out of the game on starting on turn 3. Barbie, you can call me honey if you want. The hardest, the dumbest part about Legacy is you can't just auto pass. So I might wasteland them no matter what. Especially if they're a Delver deck. And then just like keep them off mana with okay so they have a basic so there's just some combo deck which means it's probably even like more important for me to get this liliana into play i really would like to draw a blue card i'm more scared of starts like this than starts from like a delver deck because i just don't know i don't like know the format enough to know exactly what's going on yet blue card was no blue card because like we could die the nice thing is, if I'm playing against, like, Sneak and Show, is that um, my opponent, like, needs Gristlebrand in order to, uh, like, get out of this. This is Wasteland they know about. Because, like, Emrakul, I can just Edict it. Though it looks like they're playing Storm. So I could just be dead, but like that, that is life. We get good game against Storm in our sideboard, especially because like we've got two Surgicals, three Fluster Storms, a Red Elemental Blast. Some Marsh Casualties if we think they're going on the Goblin route. Oh wow, they just fetched and did nothing. Alright. I'd like to see a blue card. It's not a blue card. So I'm just going to ditch this Wasteland again. Hold this Delta. And then pass. Cabal Ritual works, you have to have it on, on Resolution. So, I'll have to pay attention to, like, eating here. I am just kind of naked here. Like, I don't really know exactly. Like, we're just, we're just kind of going with it. All right, well, at least we can go to town on the graveyard now. Let me get my music going here. All right, I'm going to definitely, I think I'm going to take this ponder with this shaman. I don't particularly think so, think it matters. Defense. All right, let's well, gonna pick up the clock at least. Uh, I'm just gonna ditch abrupt decay. Get rid of this decay. They pitch the therapy. At least now we're gonna be able to chomp away. Like we're we are slowly like turning off ad nauseum as an out. Um, blue Amalta Blast, it counters, it counters, um, Past in Flames or Rite of Flame. Like, I don't think it's very good, but I probably have a lot of stuff, like, a lot of cards to bring out, you know what I mean there? Like, I'm not super excited about it, but it's probably, like, one of those things where it's better than what I'm doing. Oh, one second. On the grounds of hardcasting force, you know, the land rip. Oh, yeah. That's a very good draw. Um,
Oh, they conceded. Okay. Blue Elemental Blast rarely sees. I see it in, like, the sideboards every once in a while decks. Like, I don't want to... I'm not going to say it's, like, a home run by any stretch, but... So I definitely want these. And I might... And these are, like, maybes if I can get them in. I don't think the true names are very good. All the counter magic is probably pretty good. The fatal pushes... Probably aren't very good. Yeah, we're not gonna really get these marsh casualties in. Um, Liliana might be too slow on the draw. Even though it was great, we got it down on turn two there, which is kind of like the nut. I need to make room for. Maybe I just don't want any of these decays and just keep Liliana's in to hedge against Xantid uh, Swarm. And I probably could cut a land because I'm not getting wastelanded. So let's try this. Let's see what this does. What, what does this look like? Are any of these cards better or worse than Marsh Casualties? Is there any way I can get these Marsh Casualties in my deck? I don't think so. I think I want all my dazes. Maybe I don't want all the dazes on the draw. Yes, that, that you are right about that, Farby. Um, yeah, I don't think I want anything else, right? I mean, these you, you can make an argument these are too slow on the draw, and I might just want these casualties to get me out of it. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to do this. machine. Nobody was having a good time tonight. I don't know a lot about Legacy, so it's nice to stream it and interact with the chat. Oh uh, yeah, we're going to keep this one. I guess this is still a matchup where I leave with Deathrite Shaman. Like, I could be wrong, but... Like, they say I always leave with Shaman. Like, unless I draw a Brainstorm, then I can Brainstorm my upkeep and flip this Delver. Extra copies of... What's ETW? Oh, Empty the Warrants. Okay. What would you have cut, Romar, Romar Riel? Always Shaman? Okay. Probably could have cut the blast, like. All right, I guess we'll go with what the masses say. Oh, my tea's almost done. Be right back. So like the blue Wait, one blast for one goif. Okay. I can buy that. <clears throat> like the blue blast is what are we doing here? So I think next turn <clears throat> I probably just like Cabal Therapy. So he therapies my force. 
So we just let this go. <clears throat> Unless he wants to take both my Delvers, which is... I guess I guess maybe I should have forced it for that reason. I didn't think about that. Yeah, you didn't take both my Delvers. Yeah, I didn't even I didn't even think about that. All right, well. All right, well, that was lucky. Okay. So I guess I just toss both of these. I guess I might as well put this back. And I think I'm gonna thought seize him. Is it worth thought seizing to get the other Delver into play? Or get the other Shaman into play? Yeah, and I don't know I don't know enough Rome Roma Roma video to tell the difference like quickly between Tess and Ant. I think I'm just going to try to be disruptive. Sanded Swarm. Okay, so I probably have to take this Xanted Swarm. I can take Thought Seize. Force the swarm. Leave him with tutor. Because then he has to play the bayou and I can waste the bayou. Yeah, I kind of just want to take his thought seize. He goes bayou Xanted Swarm. Force the Xanted Swarm. Waste his bayou. Yeah. I think it would be dangerous leaving him with tutor. But, like, the tutor's not doing anything. I mean, he, if he tops like an LED, the tutor then does something. But, like, he doesn't know any of the cards he's got left. That might be greedy of me, but... Yeah, I said this is only, like, the second or third time I've played Legacy. <laughs> There's the Bayou. Well, what else do I, like, if I take the tutor, then this Xanted Swarm comes down, and the Xanted Swarm, um, I guess there's no reason for me to do this right now. So let me wait until after I brainstorm, because we should be drawing brainstorm. Okay, that Fluster Storm's really good. So, I think I'm just gonna put this Shaman under this Liliana. Waste my opponent. No, no, I double clicked. No. Ugh, I double clicked on my wasteland and it wasted itself. Is that what happened there? Click too fast through. That's frustrating. All right. <laughs> Just like went double click and it got rid of it. Now I can't even cast my Liliana next turn. Super tilt. But, so back to this Infernal Tutor. If I take Xanted Swarm, he then Thought Seizes one of my forces, and it's not doing anything until next turn. Or, like, I can't let him get the, the Xanted Swarm down. Right? Because that's, like, worst case scenario. Where I can force of will a, um, like... Unless he takes away, like if he goes Thought Seize Xanted Swarm, then I can't, you know, I'm in a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah, that's frustrating. It's frustrating. I don't think it, like, changes a whole lot, but it still is pretty frustrating. All right, so I might as well... I should take something that I won't want. Let's take this Cabal Therapy. 
I could there could be a world where I surgical a ponder or a probe. So hopefully there's a land under here. So I can play Liliana with a land. But then I guess I'm not doing anything with my Liliana. I don't know, I'm in I'm in a tough spot now. I did this all to myself. Dark red. Okay, so he's got Tutor. I hear you're always supposed to counter the first, the first ritual. Because if he goes like has a dress effect, yeah, I think I'm just gonna counter this because then it makes it so I can play Liliana next turn, like freely. But this is only the second spell, so he can pay for it. So we gotta let this one go. Get a blue. And seeds. All right. We had a double him coming. All right. With three and zero, nice. We're making our money back in this league, which is great. My full grip, yes, I'm four less generally now. Okay. Well, I guess, again, I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out today. I hope everyone's having a good time. My name is Dylan Avi. You're on my stream. I'm sponsored by Gamer Craze, which is a store in upstate New York, which is down below on my channel. They've got really good, you can click on their link, they have really good singles prices. So you can check that out. Uh, I'm also a part of the Card Hoarder Network, which many of these cards are from Card Hoarder. So if you have any, the best bot chain around. So if you have anything you need, you should check out Card Hoarder. You can always find replays of my stream on YouTube. And I love talking and interacting with magic on Twitter, on Twitter, which you can all find those links all linked below. Is my chat not showing up on stream? Like what is, like everything just went to crap. Like everything went to crap with this with this stream tonight, which is frustrating. Alright, let me get in here, stream. Because you aren't streaming the door with Puppy Playing Magic. He will. We'll do it eventually. I just want to see if this comes up through the chat. I mean, do I have to... Alright, there we go. There we go. Oh, join match. Almost missed it. We had him on, on Thursday. Alright, it seems pretty good. It's not really great in a Delver mirror because I don't have a way to kill their shaman on one. I might force a shaman. I don't know when I'm supposed to do that. I, don't, I just don't know like when I'm supposed to when it's actually right to force a shaman. Like in a hand like this where I'm land light, is it like legit for me to just try to force a shaman? You know. These are things that, you know, you just don't know unless you play. I'm thinking about it. Well, I'm actually going to get my slippers.
I usually force DRS in the Delver Mirror. All right. That gives me a little bit more confidence. Like, it would be one thing if I had, if I had, like, a like a fatal push or something. Oh, what are we doing? We're getting a ley line? <laughs> or is this a chancellor of the annex? Okay. Double chancellor. Okay. So I should force like whatever this is to just get this right to just get this out of the way get both of these triggers and I'm going to ditch this the Chancellor triggers happen then I play Shaman at least have days up Ditches both of them, okay. And this is probably where I have to get the trop so that I can eat and have days, which I always hate getting the trop, but hopefully I get to daze something, or at least untap with this death red shaman. But it's it feels pretty unlikely. Yeah, I mean, I could have dazed that, but it doesn't do anything. Maybe it's right. I don't even know if it's really actually like right to do that. Collective brutality. I guess I might as well, because this makes it so if he has an exhum, exhum doesn't. He at least my shaman lives. He can't like zoom something. GG. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Let's go. Zooms a chancellor. Okay. So now this cut makes everything that I have cost one more. I could just probably eat this thing now and get the solid F6 value that we don't get in in our Moto world. So if we go runner runner land, we can edict this, which would be cool. Oh, it was flashbacks looting. Hey man, we got outs. We have outs. Elish Norn. That's bad. Both teams played hard. Both teams played hard for sure. Me a land. Give me a land. So I can at least get this Tarmogoyf down. Okay. Is it worth playing the Goyf? Or is it worth just eating this looting? Making so they can't dig. So this tarmogoy is not really going to matter in the grand scheme of things. I think what does matter because he obviously doesn't have a fatty. We would have played it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to eat this looting. I don't think getting the tarmogoy in play really matters that much in the grand scheme of things because like I'm going to get this Liliana in play and then be in really good shape next turn, especially if I draw like a, a blue card. No, I'm gonna go back to it, Styroxis, in a little bit. I've just, I'm just playing this right now. Land. Okay. Well, now I'm just gonna hit him. 
Because I think that his last, unless he drew a fatty this turn. I just wanted to play it because like my friend, um, I got these, I got these cards from my friend. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so there's a Chancellor. Oh, I guess now I need to draw like a, an untapped land. They just, they hit an exhum. All right, we're good. Um, and my friend's like probably gonna sell out of this on Moto. So I want to at least be able to play. I, I enjoyed playing like we would have not hit it. I enjoyed playing Legacy. So I think I want to take, these Thought Seasons are probably good. I would assume like all the counter magic that I can get is, is good. Um, probably my my pushes aren't great. I'm gonna assume that the hymns obviously aren't good. Abrupt decay is probably not good. Can't be chancer. Yeah, I had to pick between playing one of the rest of my life. I play legacy for sure. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I've I have like I don't know if this is how I want to board or not. I could beat the I could have beaten the first chancellor, right? R Rome Romar video. Romar, I can't, I'm sorry, I'm pronouncing it right, but if I had drawn like a non fetch land after hitting him, with like he has to miss on a draw step and then I can shaman away whatever he does. I kind of want some decays because I actually saw a guy bringing a Grim Lava Mancer against me. These true names probably aren't super great. Maybe there's something else. These true names are slow. So maybe I could board out one of these. The problem is, is like the only cards I have that like even have text are this blast that counters just Faithless Looting or Abrupt Decay. But is that better than true name? It probably is. Maybe these Edicts. I guess Edict kills their dude after it comes into play. Yeah, I, just, I don't think these are very good. I think they're just slow. And like once I get like one threat in the play, it's gonna win the game. Yeah, I think I want to try this. Yeah, I have an IQ that I'm gonna go to at the end of March, and I'll play more Death Shadow as we get closer to that. I have no threat, but I've got double days and a lot of dig. I think I'm going to keep this. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to keep hands like this. All right. Well, at least our opponent's going to. Okay. Chancellor. So now I'll just play this. And then just pay mana for this days. All right, no, nothing from the opponent. Okay. All right, get an island. Um, get my trap to get my green source. I've been trying it, and I feel like the hits are pretty bad. TBR is not as good. You definitely have to change the deck. I, I plan on trying versions of uh, with Jace and um, with Jace and Bloodbraid Elf, like in a, in about a week or so. All right, they concede. Okay. Again, like, is this is the only other card that I think I want? And maybe it's better than Abrupt Decay. But, like, this counters Faithless Looting, which it doesn't hit Faithless Looting on the play, so I think I'm just going to send it all back. You have to think I have to change it up a little bit. Like, I was playing a version... Like, this was this is the last version of Death Shadow that I was playing that I was actually pretty happy with. Um, where is this? BB Shadow 2? Is this it? Yeah, I was actually pretty happy with this deck. But I think that I would change this. Well, it all depends, like, on the metagame going forward. Like, I think this is something... This is where I'm going to start with my Death Shadow decks when I get back into the Death Shadow, which will be soon. 
So do I have to mulligan this hand? Because I don't have force of will? This hand's so good, though. I think I'm gonna keep this. Like, the only thing I'm looking for is like a, is like another, like a surgical. I only have two in my deck. All right. Okay, nothing. Let's just hope we don't get. That must mean, this must mean they have must have like an absolute heater. All right, pedal. This is like a gristle brand on no. So I really don't. Oh, they were trying to see if I was auto passing. In tune. Okay. Yeah, they were checking for the auto pass. All right. So here comes Gristle Brand. So we did. Oh, there you are. But I don't know. Am I am I supposed like is am I actually supposed to mulligan this hand like let me snip this like right there that's my starting seven yeah there's just no need to continue to play this game I could draw an edict but he's gonna draw a million cards we're gonna go we're, we're, we're still we're still gonna go for it play at least take at least one draw step because, I mean, if we can find a way to deal with this, we do have enough spells to, like, play the game. Like, if we hit exactly Edict next turn, I think we're still in it. It's on BB are pretty very yeah they're either insane or they're not as good. They're either insane or they're like medium. If you have delirium, then they're fine. Not gonna give him the information because he's gonna take the force anyways. Like I said, this is a lot. This is you know a hail mary, hundred percent. I think 
cancel our dark ritual. Okay. Alright, now we're good. I mean, I was probably dead anyways. I mean, maybe I'm supposed to mulligan that hand. I don't know. I feel so mopey to mull that, though. Okay, I got four... I got two counter spells in a daze. Two flush storms a daze in death rate shaman. So, I think that it's... I don't think it's necessarily a worse jund. There's Styroxis. It's a different jund. Because, like... Yes, Jund is going to do better in the um, Jund is going to do better against those games that want to go longer, but like Death Shadow is going to be better against the combo decks. But Mana Morphos and Whispers. Oh, that's cool. I think this is, and this is another. This is the. Where is this? Is this the old Bug Shadow, or is this... Yeah, this is where I think I want to start if I was going to play Bug Death Shadow. I think this is where I would like to be, at least to start with. Whether I stay here or not, you know, no one knows. But, anyway, he's got 11 viewers. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out. Trying to 4-1 this league. It's been a quick league. All these games are fast. So maybe I'll run back another one. Maybe I'll just go to bed. Depends on how confident I'm feeling. It does suck how long it takes for these legacy queues, leagues to queue up. Oh, there we go. I don't recognize their name. I am really off the godless shrine lingering souls plan at the moment purely because of um whispers emercore are sweet i'm off it just purely because of how prevalent field of ruin is um i'm on the play i'll keep this We'll get underground C. So I kind of want the shaman. I kind of want the shaman. And I want the Tarmogoyf. I'm going to go. We're going to stack this like this. With the ability to shuffle away that brainstorm if we don't want it. There is a world where that's the case. If my opponent plays like, yeah, so. All right, so now we're in trouble. So maybe I have to brainstorm, look for a way to kill this death ray shaman. If I don't find it, play my own death ray shaman. I think that's the plan. We didn't find it. Okay, I don't like him in these matchups. If it's like the sh the shaman mirror, I don't think we're gonna be in the in the game for wastelanding. I'll get by you and then play my own shaman, and just hope that they don't like Liliana me. I would have kept that wasteland if I was going to play. Oh, Manamorphos helps that. Yes, you are right. You are right. I forgot about that. So 
three mana Morphos. Yeah, I see what you're doing. Still have your eight discard spells. Wow. All right, we're playing some Maverick deck. All right, now I'm even much happier that I got rid of my um that I got rid of that removal spell. I got rid of the him. All right, I think I'm just gonna play play a Goyf and pass. And then just fight my opponents on mana. Okay. Caracas. I assume this is a bad matchup. That's off force, but that's kind of it. Okay, when you need stabs, it's easy. Yeah. It is nice when it's got a fluid sideboard playing like that. So I am going to see if I can harass. Like, maybe my opponent taps. Okay, so now I'm just going to brainstorm. This is a, like a weak brainstorm, but because of, like, oh god, that's gross. All right, well, put both of these back. I'm going to waste this Caracas. Probably just attack with a Tarmogoyf, play another Tarmogoyf. This is interesting. I'm trading two for one. Uh, this unlocks my whole hand. It means I get to shuffle things away. I guess he could have actually eaten my ponder and then shrunk my Tarmogoyf. No, he couldn't eat any of the, the, the mana to do that. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep these actually and then waste my opponent next turn. So I'll keep this Daze. I'm going to draw this Daze so I can like deal with the Night of the Reliquary. So let's put this. Let's play another Tomboyf. And like I'll double Daze a Night and then I'm going to be able to like play my own Wasteland and then harass their mana. Oh, that's a Cradle, that's not good. Well, at least I'll be able to waste that. Should I just hit this? This card's so annoying. And like these these aren't doing anything else. I think I, I think I am just gonna. Then if he tries to eat, I'll eat. It'll, you know. I think I'm going to try to eat a land. No, I don't want him to, like, get my Tarmogoyf with a plow. Get that out of here. And now we'll just chill out. Start beating with this big old Tarmogoyf. I don't think I want to use my Shaman because I don't want to give him the opportunity to path my or plow my Tarmogoyf. That's annoying. We have three decays to answer that though. If we do find a decay, it's going to be good.
But we are putting a clock on them. Alright, that true name's good. So next turn I can go like true name and wasteland. Yeah, I like that. So let's go like this, put the true name underneath just in case they play like a thought Caesar him. And I'll attack. I mean they're not gonna be able to draw cards off this, which is good. Thanks for sharing your thoughts with me. I understand Shadow's going to be better against Faster Dex, but John the Light Hudson just seems good. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, the Jun, Jun, you should look into Jun. Like, Jun is an improved deck in every meaning of the word. Like, it just does everything. I'm going to try to get him to tap his Shaman here so that I can go Wasteland and Nemesis. Next turn. Maybe Wasteland's is not even that important. It makes it so we can't block, at least. Okay, so he eats the Brainstorm as well. Okay. Ooh, little untapped target creature. Okay. I always get blown out by this thing. So this comes back into play. This is cool with night. Okay, so now I'm just going to attack and then slam the nemesis. I am going to try and eat a land, though, just so that he doesn't gain life. And if he lets me, then I'll eat it, play the nemesis, and then just waste him to harass him. Feels bad to switch because Traverse is a lot more involved and complicated. It is. It's just a, it's a more fun deck to play. I still think the deck will be fine. Like... If Jun gets good, you're just going to see a bunch of Tron decks, and this is just how modern is. You're going to have your weekends where you should play Jun, and you're going to have your weekends where you should play Death Shadow. It's just kind of the nature of the beast. Alright. So we can just do this forever. So basically Fog's my... Now I should just use this. Just deny him this one mana. Don't waste on them with Ranger in play. Oh, yeah, you're right. See, that's what I'm talking about. I don't know a lot about what's going on in this world. Okay, so he untaps this. So then he gets to eat it. Red mana. So he's doing this just to... So basically it's the fog me for the rest of the game, but he doesn't get to fog this. That's why I like this card so much. It just gets you out of so many issues. It's going to be difficult for him to, to race him. Just because he can theoretically gain like four life a turn. But I can, I can sit there and play Wasteland next turn, attack with both. Then when he goes to 
bounce the arbor. No, he doesn't even play the arbor. It's a knight. Okay. All right. Knight is scary. But we can eat things. We can eat lands out of his graveyard if we need to. So like, we just find an abrupt decay. Finding a decay would just be nice. Okay, but we get some looks at it. All right, there's a decay. So I can actually, I can't go him and decay, but I can go decay and shaman. I don't think I want this him or this wasteland. So what does this do? Return a forest, untap target creature. Okay. We play this. So now he has to chump his tongue wife. Yeah. Okay. So I don't want my hymns. Hymns are no good. I guess what is good? Edicts are probably okay. Marsh casualties is okay. Fatal push. I'm not excited about days, forces, or hymns. Or forces, like, I feel like forces are better than days, especially on the draw. Maybe some number of him to Torox. Or, like, which card's better, him or force? Like, I know that at least these are coming out. And I think I want all of these. Like, in Thoughtseize, because I'm assuming he's, like, a Stoneforge Mystic deck. Yeah, I'm all about Last Hope. I want to bring in all these. I just don't know. Like, I have to cut. I have to cut, like, four cards out of these seven. I don't know if they should be all hymns. If there's like three forces and one him. I don't think I want him. Like at least force hits like Knight of the Reliquary, which could be really scary. Like I've got enough removal to deal with all of his creatures, and then I have forces to hit like to hit the ways that he kills my true name nemesis. Or like Sylvan Library. Yeah, I think this is what I'm gonna do. It might be crazy, but I'll have to board him out on the play, I think. Alright, keep this. One of Mulligans. We gotta turn to Liliana, which could be sweet. Still gonna play. That thought sees is nice because it means we have like a couple relevant plays next turn. I kinda wanna save either this fatal push or this thought sees for a big old you kept a card on top, right? Put a card on top. Athalia here would be annoying. Like I probably would just push it then thought sees. Okay. Alright, so that makes me okay playing out Tarma Wife. Because I can just Edict the Knight if that comes down next turn.
Okay, so there's the night we talked about, but we are ready for it. Never let people untap the Night of the Reliquary. I used to play this card in Modern all the time. These uh, Maverick decks don't play like Dark Depths, Thespian Stage, right? Alright, that's dead. Don't play Athalia. What's another Shaman? Gross. Alright, well. Let's take a look. Green Sun Zenith, Zealous Persecution. Persecution's annoying, but I think I'm going to be able to deal with it. I'm just going to push one of these. I don't need him harassing my graveyard, shrinking this Tarmogoyf and at twice the rate, twice the rate he is. Caracas is what he drew, okay. Land. Still pretty good. Just time to go away and get him. Gains a little bit of life. And I'm not going to play this Delver out. There's no need in getting it persecutioned. Opponent's letting out, which sucks. Um, I'm going to play this Last Hope. Like, I could play the Liliana and get the other one out of his hand. It doesn't really matter. I'd rather play the Liliana where I can, like, use it in Edict. To tell you the truth, it wasn't a good place for either Liliana, but I couldn't play Delver, you know? That's kind of what I think. Like, this just kills Delver. All right. I'm just gonna ditch the Delver so I can just rebuy it. The casualties might be good. I kind of want to keep my brainstorm. I probably should have actually brainstormed for a way to like discard the Liliana. No, because then they would have just. Persecution to shrink my Tarmogoyf. And now we're just on like a no outer. TNN. Oh, yep. Yeah. Well, most of them don't play TNN, right? All right, there we go. It's a good league. Do I want to play another? Now it's 11.52. I'm going to call it for tonight. I'm going to be streaming the challenge with something pretty close. There'll be a place for it. It might not be like as good as it was, but there, there will be a place for it. This is currently what I'm working with. I might change a couple things around tomorrow, but this is at least close to what I think I'm going to do with it. Like, the only things I can change is, like, one of these hymns for a fourth time of life. But I like how many spells, like, we've got... How many spell? How many, how many ways do we have to flip Delver? Put all my creatures over here. these over here. I got 25 ways to flip Delver. I don't know. I don't really know a lot about Legacy. I just like I like playing it. It is fun. But I, I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. And I hope everyone has a good rest of your your weekend. 
you have any tips for the deck, you should please let me know, as I have no idea. I have no idea how to uh, how to play this deck, and would appreciate all the help. Let me see if there's anybody from Card Hoarder on right now. I am the only person from the Card Hoarder Network on right now, streaming. So let's see who else is on. Send you guys I'm the only person from the Card Hoarder Network on somewhere. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go to Bones Twenty One. All right, I hope everyone has a good rest of their day, and I will be back on here tomorrow morning to stream this. See you guys later.